Hi, I'm Tricia and I'm founder of Look Fabulous Forever. We make makeup specifically formulated for older faces like mine. Uh, today I'm going to show you a very easy everyday look using some of our five star rated products. These are things that our customers really rate very, very highly. And um, yeah, I'm going to show you how they, uh, how they work on my face and hopefully you'll be impressed with the, uh, with the effect. So um, I've actually started by applying um, three primers that we have, all of which are hero products for us really. Face primer, which I put on over the top of my moisturiser, that's to prep my skin ready for the base uh, makeup that I'm going to apply the foundation. I've also applied some um, eye primer, help my eye makeup, makeup to look better, and a lip primer around the edges of my lips because uh, I don't want my uh, lip colour to feather and bleed into the lines around my mouth. So let's get going. Um, so first five star rated product I'm actually going to show you is our wonderful um, Continuous Cover Foundation. It's an absolutely fantastic product. I love it. And um, I'm going to apply it to, uh, to my face. Uh, the reason I love it so much is because it's uh, got great coverage but it doesn't look heavy or mask-like and I think it gives a wonderful finish actually on my face as it's called a base because it's actually designed to form the canvas for everything that you're going to paint on top and everything that you paint on top only looks as good as the base or the canvas that you're applying it to. So start in the middle of your face, work to the outer edges. I like using a brush for this, foundation brush for this. And once I've applied it with the brush fairly quickly, then taking the rest of it that's on the back of my hand, I like to use the warmth of my fingers. So take a bit of time and trouble over that, brush first, warm the fingers afterwards in order to ensure that it's uh, totally combined into your skin and uh, also blended at the edges around your hairline, your jawline and so on and so forth. So that's my continuous cover foundation. Now the next one is uh, a wonderful product and uh, it's bronzer. So we get lots and lots of uh, love for our bronzer. I think because it's, uh, it's beautifully light, um, it can be used winter or summer. It doesn't have to be a, uh, something you apply when you want a sun-kissed look. It can be something that you apply when you actually want to brighten your skin up, make it look as though it's uh, sort of warmed up slightly. So it's quite useful actually in the middle of the winter when we can look quite pallid. So big fat brush, here it is. And just put it on in those places where you, you would naturally catch the, um, the sunshine. There we go. That's my bronzer done. Already feeling that I'm looking healthier and more glowing, which is uh, the effect that I want to achieve. Now after that, I'm going to apply some concealer here it is. Um, I'm going to use our little brush four for this. And the reason I'm doing concealer is because I've done a good job at the sort of the, the base now. And what I want to do is make sure that any areas that I'm not terribly happy with are fully concealed and well covered up. I'm going to use my mirror that I've got on the side here to help me to position it correctly. So I'm going to start with this corner bit here, which is where I have quite deep shadows and bring it down into the under eye area as well. So the reason I've got those deep shadows is because my eyes aren't uh, are slightly sunken in my head now. <laughs> um, I'm 75, so it's helpful to do this little bit of concealing. Here I'm doing age spots. And really any bit of my skin now that I think just needs a bit of extra help if I have any spots or blemishes, but mercifully at the moment, I don't have any, which is a miracle. So I get lots, but only if I'm eating the wrong diet. So I do find that if I, if I watch my diet, it helps. Okay. 
Okay, so I hope you agree that the uh, that concealer that I've applied has uh, done a nice job of uh, lessening any um, blemishes, patches of blueness and so on that I have on my face. And now I'm going to concentrate on my eyes uh, using, as I said, some more of our five star rated product. So the first one I'm going to use is our brow shape. Now brows are difficult when you're older because they become sparse, they become wiry, a bit of a lure unto themselves. And um, we've devised, I have devised, I'm gonna own this one, what I think of as a really special product, which is designed to work brilliantly on older brows, which aren't as full as they used to be, but you don't want to create a really heavy and uh, you know that sort of caterpillar slug look that's lying on your face because it's very heavy on an older face. It weighs it down. So um, I'm going to use, we have three colours. We have brown, blonde and grey. Um, and we have those colours because we know that they're going to be the most appropriate and suitable for you. Now, if you've still got quite good brows, obviously use the brown. Mine aren't too bad, but they lack length and definition. So I'm going to use the blonde one. Um, sometimes I use the grey one, it just depends a little bit on um, other colours that I'm wearing on my face, but today I'm going to put, put on the blonde one. And the way that you do it is to just stroke the colour on top of your where your brows are. And you'll find it's very easy to use, I mean I really don't find it difficult to use at all. Magnifying mirror can help. And you'll see that immediately I've added definition to my brows and I've shaped them better because I've made them longer. So you need to shake it up. Um, that makes sure that the paint that it is basically, basically it's a kind of paint, is combined so it's the right consistency. And then just use these light feathery strokes like that. So I don't know how long that took me, but it wasn't very long. And now to complete the look, because they're slightly unbalanced, one is this one's heavier than that one, I'm going to use the spoolie brush again. This comes as part of a set with the brow shape. So I'm going to use the spoolie brush just to combine that a little bit better and to slightly knock back the colour. So don't panic if you feel you've put too much on because the spoolie brush is brilliant. It just brings it back to whatever colour you really want density of colour I'm talking about. So adjustments done with the spoolie brush actually I might just put a little bit more on the left hand one. So I hope you agree that my brows look, look better, better defined and a better colour. And now I'm going to carry on with my eye makeup using some more of our five star rated products in the form of a wonderful eyeshadow called Bluebell and also our Sheer Brilliance Lid Colour in uh, Silver Mist, which is a beautiful, beautiful product. So I'm actually going to start with the eyeshadow and um, I'm going to use that in a particular way with the, uh, the lid colour. So I'm going to concentrate the colour of the shadow on this outer area here. So the idea with this is to make my eyes look bigger, better shape, and it's going to add a little bit of a lovely subtle sort of purpley blue colour. Bluebell is a lovely soft colour, very very pretty. And it works particularly well, I think, with a silver mist. So you can see what I've done with that. I've put it on that outer edge. Do the same the other side. There we go. I think that looks nice. And now I'm going to add in this little pop of brilliance, because it's called sheer brilliance lid color, into the inner corner of my eye, where, where I haven't put the, uh, the eyeshadow. So I'm just going to pop that there. Can you see that? Just on the eyelid. I'm not going to raise it above, I'm not going to try and put it in the socket line. I'm literally putting it in that 
inner third. of my lid. So that lid colour has given me a lovely pop of brightness just in that uh, inner third of my eyes. If I get close you can actually see it and the bluebells on the outside, the lid colours on the inner uh, third I would say and I think it gives a lovely pop of brightness. So next good old trusty mascara what would we do without it and uh, our wonderful live lash mascara is uh, I think it's a brilliant product when I came up with uh, the range for look fabulous forever I wanted a mascara that didn't make my eyes look ridiculously spidery so my key key consideration for the formulation of the mascara was that it would be it would leave my lashes quite soft not hard so it's quite conditioning as well, our mascara. Um, and it does what it needs to do, which is to build definition and colour onto the lashes whilst leaving them nice and soft. So now I'm going to show you a couple of our five-star rated lip products. Um, I've applied, as you remember, my, um, my wonderful lip primer which is going to stop any feathering and bleeding. And now I'm going to put on the lip liner. I'm using Plumbery around the outside edge of my lips first. Simply pencil around the outside edges, but don't leave it there. Continue the color onto your lips like that. Now why do you do that? Well you do it to create a base uh, for your the colour that you're going to put on top. Now I would normally put lipstick on top of this and uh, but I'm not going to do that today because I want to show you one of our, another one of our five star rated products and that is our lip balm. Um, this is our, one of our tinted lip balms and we also have a clear one. So I'm just going to apply that from the bullet on top of my the lip liner that I've applied. Now if you have um, lips that tend to get very dry, flaky, sore, chapped, or if you're going out first thing in the morning perhaps, you just want to grab something that's going to protect your lips and also look nice while you're going about your, um, as I say, your dog walking or tennis playing or golf playing or something like that. The sort of situation where you want your lips to be protected, but you might not want to, to have very much makeup on. Then this wonderful, uh, let me show it to you, tinted lip balm is the answer. It's gorgeous. It feels beautiful on the lips, very moisturising. And I think it looks absolutely terrific. So... There you go. I do hope you like that look that I've created and um, that you will come and have a look at our five star rated products because these are the ones that consistently our customers tell us are the very best that they've ever used. Big claim, I know, but it's true. And uh, they, give the, they give us five star rating for these products because they're so exceptionally good. So thank you for watching that. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you, uh, hope you like the look I've created and uh, please leave comments below this video. We love your comments. Like if you like the, liked it and leave a comment. That way other people can find us more quickly. And if you liked what you saw here and you want much, much more of this and we have hundreds of videos, then please do subscribe to our channel. Thank you again and bye-bye.